A district judge is deciding whether to temporarily stop a 24-hour delay on abortions. It's a part of the Women's Right to Know Act, which is being challenged in an ongoing lawsuit. Now, we are getting the latest reaction from lawmakers tonight. 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live from the State House. So, Rebecca, what's the latest on this challenge? Yeah, aside from the 24 hour delay, abortion providers are taking issue with one of the most recent changes to the act that passed this year. That part requires the state to let patients know that a medication abortion can be reversed. Abortion providers are challenging a law they say requires doctors to give patients misleading information. I think this kind of legislation just uh, puts fears out there that aren't warranted. It's the latest amendment to the Women's Right to Know Act. It requires doctors to tell women a medication abortion can be reversed. The act was established in 1997. It also says a doctor can't provide an abortion until 24 hours after providing state mandated information and it tacks on an extra 30 minutes to meet and ask questions beforehand. Abortion providers are asking a Johnson County District Court judge to temporarily block the enforcement of these restrictions as legal proceedings are underway. What citizens of Kansas said last year that they to support the woman's autonomy of her body and that should start from you know, the first hour, not from 24 hours later. While Democrats are siding with abortion providers, Republicans say that the act helps women make an informed decision. There was a lot of thought that went into the very simple bills that we wrote to just protect women and help women to know there is an alternative, there is an option. So I can't imagine why someone would want an injunction about these women, vulnerable women, being more informed. And this hearing is set for Tuesday afternoon in Johnson County. We'll be in the courtroom tracking the hearing to bring you the latest information. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.